Okay, now that we proved the previous result, that is to say that the limit of that famous quotient as x tends to 0 of sine x over x is 1, let us now take a look at its partner in crime, as I mentioned in the previous video. That is to say, its partner in crime is, let's find the limit as x tends to 0 of the quotient of 1 minus cos x over x. And that we will show is equal to zero. Um, to do this, this is not going to be as involved as the last one. <clears throat> we uh, will remind ourselves of uh, maybe one or two things here. Okay, so one thing that we should remember is this famous trig identity, that is to say sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to one. And um, so why is that important? Because if I were to subtract uh, cos squared x on both sides, I'm going to show, be able to know that, um, so 1 minus cos squared x is equal to sine squared x. Okay, So we will uh, make use of that here in just a second. But um, OK, so let, let's do the following. So here is a proof of this. So the limit as x tends to 0 of 1 minus cos x over x, I can write as the limit as x tends to 0 of 1 minus cos x over x times 1 plus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I just went ahead and wrote this result, and I'm going to make use of that result here in just a second, and then we will fall back on the result of the last proof in the previous video. Okay, so if you do that, then you should be able to see right away that the limit as x goes to 0 on the top, we're going to get 1 minus, so 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times cos x is cos x, minus cos x times 1 is minus cos x, those middle terms cancel in foiling, and then minus cos x times cos x is minus cos x squared, or minus cos squared x, doesn't matter. And then on the bottom, you're going to get uh, 1 plus cos x times x on the bottom. And so now we will bring this result to bear over on the numerator. Okay, so I will write this as the limit as x tends to 0 of sine squared x over um, the x times 1 plus cos x, okay? And now I'm going to uh, write this as the limit as x, let's see if I can, I always have a little difficulty writing that m in the limb, right? I got to go slow. So it's limb as x goes to 0 of Let's write it this way, sine of x over x times sine of x over 1 plus cos of x. And I think you probably see what I'm doing here uh, when I do that. So then I can write this the following way. I can say this is the limit of x going to... 0 of sine of x over x times the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over 1 plus cos of x. Okay, And, well, this should look awfully familiar to us. This is from the previous video. So let me write here, shown in okay, uh, having trouble writing a w2 apparently shown in previous video
well what what is that result from the previous video we showed that the stuff in the bracketed term just goes to one times well what is the this limit this limit here as x goes to zero on the top we can see it's clearly going to zero on the bottom it's going to go to two so you have zero over two okay and uh, well zero over two times one is still zero and so that concludes the proof that we were setting out to show here namely that the limit as x tends to zero of the quotient of one minus cos x to x is zero okay thank you for watching we will then use this in uh, the next couple of videos these results will rear their heads once again and we'll see you in those videos.